To balance this equation, lead 2 nitrate plus sodium sulfate yields lead 2 sulfate plus sodium nitrate. We'll first add up the atoms on each side of the equation. So we have one lead atom. And then instead of writing the individual nitrogens and oxygens, I consider this whole NO3, this nitrate ion, to be one thing. So I have one of them here, but the two on the outside means I have two. So I have two NO3s. Sodiums, I have two. And then I'm going to count the sulfate the same way. I have one sulfate right here. So that's a very valuable trick because now I don't have to count all these individual things up. It makes it a lot easier to balance. On the product side, I have lead, one atom. Let's do the NO3. I have one of those. Na, I have one. And then the sulfate, I have one of those. So let's see. I have two nitrates here and one nitrate over here. Why don't we fix that? Why don't we put a 2 in front of the NaNO3. Now we have the 1 nitrate times the 2, so 1 times 2. That gives us 2 nitrates, and the sodiums, 1 times the 2. That'll give us 2 sodium atoms, and all of a sudden we're done with this equation. So the key here, you can group together these polyatomic ions, and it'll make it a lot easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PBNO32 plus Na2SO4 yields PBSO4 plus NaNO3, and thanks for watching.